today we're at the uh, the first one day seminar that we've held on the Institute's new premises and uh, we're talking about the outlook and for the future of the general insurance industry and for actuaries working in that industry. One of the, uh, the big discussions that we had was around technological changes and how they might impact insurance and particularly around improved um, driver's car safety and the prospect maybe in the future that we don't actually have motor vehicle accidents anymore because the, all the cars are either very safe to drive or drive in fact driverless. So there are a number of new and emerging technologies that can make a difference in road trauma terms. Some of them are already available on the market, say something like auto emergency braking. This is a technology that can brake for the driver in the case of an emergency if the driver doesn't. And we know through research that it can reduce rear-end collisions by up to about 30%. In relation to insurance, it could potentially affect the premium structure and in terms of um, yeah, the amount of accidents that we actually see on the road. So the Australian market has, hasn't has adopted telematics as, uh, as widely as the US and the UK. Theirs is driven by regulations, absolutely. Um, and the, I think the Australian consumer is still a bit concerned about the big brother and also the impact that it'll have on their actual insurance premium. About 80% of all data is unstructured. And if we believe in the premise that there's value in data, albeit harder to get at value in unstructured data, then we can't ignore that unstructured data, given there's so much of it. But, you know, to be an analytically enabled competitor, which means you have a better view of risk than the insurance companies you're competing against, you need to figure out how you're going to use it. Or if you don't, someone else is going to. Um, it's important to be driven by a real need, I think, which is why we start our analytical process with identifying the business challenge not the analytics challenge, the business challenge. That turns into an analytics challenge. Then you look at the data that's available to address that challenge, but it's always centered around the business problem. And I think that will drive effective use of data.